Hey, this is Lou DeVentura, a CFI candidate from Big Sky Aviation, located there at the Millville Airport, Millville, New Jersey. Uh, talking to you today about uh, weather information and how to obtain a good weather briefing. Uh, before you depart on your flight, it's a good, and it's actually it's a great idea to get a big picture of what the weather is out there uh, from your uh, departure airport to your destination airport because you know uh, flying and weather really don't mix unless you have uh, severe clear weather out there. Uh, the best way to get your uh, big picture is, is a few different ways is uh, looking at the, the weather channel. Uh, the weather channel is great because again it gives you a whole a uh, big picture of the whole United States and the weather patterns that are going on there. Uh, another uh, great service is NOAA and uh, that's a national weather uh, service station uh, that's located online and uh, I perfectly like using that. Um, it helps me. I've been using that for years and it's a good guide and tool and in order to get like I said all the important information before you depart on your flight. Uh, another system that's really good too also is DUATS and it's Direct User Access Terminal Service uh, that's available online from the uh, US government that helps uh, everyone. Um, I have created a uh, chart uh, for myself uh, to follow through. Uh, this way I'm sure that I'm catching everything and not missing uh, any pertinent information. I usually start here on the Aviation Center uh, National Weather Service homepage. Um, this gives me like a big picture of what is going on in the in the country here uh, before I do anything, and it gives me a big picture as far as turbulence, icing, IFR conditions, and any uh, kind of convective activity that might be going on in the United States. Um, once I'm happy with that, I jump down to the winds and I grab the winds that are pertinent for you know for my area and uh, use those winds uh, for calculations in my flight planning and so forth. Once I'm finished with that I go to the um, the prog charts and the surface charts here to get an idea of how the high and low pressures are going to affect me uh, either now or you know uh, down the road at some time. I'll come back to the home page again to see if there's any pyreps uh, that might affect uh, my flight and my route of flight. I'll check out the METARs uh, for my departure airport and for my destination airport. Another important ingredient is getting the terminal area forecast again for uh, my departure and for my destination airport. The current surface chart will depict your cold fronts, your low pressures, and also now includes uh, radar summary. Uh, it gives you an idea of uh, where your weather is out there in the United States. I also like to look at the satellite picture of the United States. Uh, again, this is all getting the big picture and to confirm what the other charts and other information has been telling me. Another good piece of information is the temporary flight restrictions page on the FAA website uh, to help you to make a go no go decision. Uh, leaving from your departure airport to your destination airport. Last on my list to get the big picture are NOTAMs, which are notices to airmen. And again, I check my uh, departure airport and my destination airport.
and again maybe some airports that are in between my uh, route of flight uh, just to be sure that, that no problems arise uh, or any surprises are there uh, when I land at an airport if I have to deviate or even if a uh, VOR is not working properly for um, navigation to uh, my destination airport. The next frames carry the information on what to give to the briefer and after these frames are done uh, you will hear me then call the briefer and he will be giving me the information before my flight. Press 1 or say briefer, press 3 or say tips, press 5 or say... I'm sorry, I didn't understand. You are at the main menu where you can choose one of the following three options. You can interrupt me at any time by speaking or entering your choice as soon as you hear the option you want. To speak with a briefer, say briefer or press 1. Departing from or processing an OTAM for. You may enter the two letter state abbreviation on your keypad or speak your response now. New Jersey. Please wait while I connect you with a flight briefer. Yes, good afternoon. How are you today, sir? Good, how are you? Alright, pretty good. I'm looking for a standard weather briefing. I'm a commercial right. yeah, commercial pilot, uh, VFR, air, aircraft ID, uh, November 1765 Romeo, it's a Cessna 182RG Skyline, departing out of Millville, uh, Kilo Mike India Victor. Uh, 21Z, proposed time, altitude 4500, uh, route of flight probably from uh, Millville to Smyrna, which is uh, Echo Nov November Oscar, direct to uh, Kilo, Lima, November Sierra, Lancaster, and up and back about two hours. Okay. All right. So starting out with uh, any adverse conditions that might be out there, um, looks like there are no weather advisories to tell you about. Um, no TFRs that should affect the flight. The um, Synopsis showing high pressure in place with fairly dry and stable air mass. Current conditions at Millville, automated winds 350 at 10. Visibility 10 miles and clear skies below 12,000. Uh, visible satellite shows clear skies along the entire route. And uh, Lancaster, they're reporting winds 300 at 900 knots. Visibility 10 miles was scattered cloud at 4,200. There are no pilot airports along your route of flight. Like I said, the sky's pretty clear out there. There are uh, areas of broken overcast to the north of uh, Lancaster, by the way, up in uh, north of the line between Reading and Indian Town, and also west of the line between Indian Town and uh, York. But nowhere really too too much in the vicinity of Lancaster looks to be, if anything, few to scatter. Okay. Uh, Interim forecast for New Jersey. They're forecasting scattered clouds at 5,000 during that time frame. And let's see if 
anything becoming vice versa or the first guys for scattered service. Um, over Delaware, it looks like they're forecasting initially scattered clouds at 6,000, becoming scared, clear skies, excuse me, or scattered cirrus. Uh, after our round zero zero zero, the southeastern Pennsylvania is the same forecast as for New Jersey, just uh, scattered clouds at 5,000 during that time frame. Initially, a destination forecast at Lancaster. Between 2,000 and 0,600 Zulu, winds 3, 3, 0, and 4 knots, visibility more than 6 miles, a few clouds at 3,500. And then when you get back to Millville, uh, if forecasting similar conditions to what they're showing now, winds 3, 4, 0, and 6, visibility more than 6 miles, a few clouds at uh, 6,000 feet. Okay. The Atlantic City winds a lot of forecasting. No, that's good. Yeah, any TFRs out there? There's no TFRs that look like they're going to impact your route that you described. Okay. The closest one is at uh, Wilmington, which is not affecting Newcastle, but um, the smaller semi-permanent one that's out there, which right. is at the CCO 3-1 slant 2-4, uh, the DuPont 005 and 005.4, and a 1 nautical mile radius that might surface to 1,500 HEO. Okay. No, yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate all the information. No problem. I'll report to request if you see anything you have a good fight. All right, thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Well, there it is on how to obtain a weather briefing uh, from the briefer. Um, now, what I would do is go back through the information that was. Uh, received from the briefer and all of the information you see gathered from before to get the big picture and go back over it and review it and if you're still not sure contact your local certified flight instructor and ask him or her uh, to help you uh, make your go no-go decision you do want an uneventful flight you want it to be safe so take a few extra minutes and do what you have to do to make this a safe flight uh, if you have any questions or comments and concerns about my video, uh, please direct them to ldv34 at aol.com. That is Lima Delta Victor 34 at aol.com. Um, I will be doing some more videos, so uh, follow me. And uh, again, I hope this 
uh, video was informative for you and I hope it uh, has given you some insight on how to obtain a good weather briefing. Till next time, I'll see you later. Take care.